Nuclear power, an industry that's often stigmatized as unsafe, costly, or just not worth the risk. I understand that something categorized alongside the nuclear bomb, nuclear radiation, and nuclear fallout would be feared with such a passion, but it's also greatly misunderstood. The general public seems blinded by just a handful of events that shape the industry's reputation as a whole. No one seems to be able to get past events like Chernobyl or Fukushima, when in reality there's almost no way that something like that could happen ever again. Chernobyl's reactor number four, the one that famously exploded in 1986, was an RBMK reactor, a type exclusively used by the Soviet Union. The flaw that caused it to explode isn't shared by any other reactor, and the flaw was fixed in all other RBMK reactors shortly after the incident. There's no way history can repeat itself here. The other significant nuclear incident, the Fukushima disaster in 2011, was caused by a mixture of reasons. First of all, the design for the reactor was originally made for submarines, and for a much smaller scale. Even the designers themselves said that a commercial version would need to be made out of better materials. Yet, a full-scale reactor was built anyway, out of those bad materials that the designers warned against. Imagine if a major dam, say the Hoover Dam, was built out of wood. It might last for a little while, but as soon as something happened, it would fall apart. This is what happened to the Fukushima reactor. It got hit by an earthquake and couldn't take the stress. The power got cut, and as a result, a meltdown ensued. Modern reactor types, like the high-temperature gas reactor, don't have this problem. They're built to take the maximum heat that the reactor can generate, and cool themselves down automatically, even if the power gets cut. There's even a type of reactor in development, the liquid fluoride thorium reactor, that can't melt down ever, at all. Now, it should be noted that it's physically impossible for a nuclear reactor to explode like a nuke. This is because of the concentration of useful uranium within the fuel, or the amount that can actually undergo fission. The uranium that's used in nuclear weapons has a concentration of about 90% useful uranium, whereas reactor fuel has a mere 3 to 8%. The amount of useful uranium in reactor fuels is enough to keep them hot, but not nearly enough for them to explode. Let's get this straight, there's no way a reactor can go off like a nuke. Another thing about the nuclear industry that concerns a lot of people is radiation. If I get too close to a nuclear reactor, am I going to get cancer? No. And while it is true that nuclear reactors release small amounts of radiation to the environment, these are very insignificant amounts and don't even close to raise their chances of getting cancer. Now, I'm not saying that nobody in the nuclear industry has ever died of cancer or radiation poisoning. Uranium mines are actually some of the most dangerous mines in the world for their risk for illness. But today, those mines are quickly being shut down and replaced with much safer alternatives, such as in situ leach mines, which are safer for both the workers and for the environment. Another thing to note is that there's radiation everywhere and in everything. It really only becomes dangerous in extreme quantities. There are even places on Earth that are naturally more radioactive than Chernobyl or Fukushima are today. Take Guarapari, Brazil, for example which is seven times more radioactive than Chernobyl, and that's still not even close to a fatal amount. Statistically, nuclear is the safest way to generate power. It has the fewest accidents and by far the least deaths out of any of the major power industries. Yes, there are occasional accidents, ones that cannot be taken lightly, but all major power industries have accidents, and I've already explained how unlikely it is that nuclear is going to have another major power incident ever again. The coal industry kills more than 10,000 people every year. Could you imagine seeing 10,000 people die? That's what happens every single year that coal isn't replaced with a safer industry like nuclear. Even solar has on average more fatalities per year. In addition to being the least fatal power industry, nuclear power is green. And I don't mean it makes everything glow green. Greenhouse gas emissions from nuclear reactors are on par with hydro and wind making nuclear one of the most eco-friendly types of power. It's also, contrary to popular belief, one of the cheapest in Canada. In fact, Canada makes on average $6 billion per year off of the nuclear industry. <laughs> it's actually lowering taxes. What's even more is that nuclear power is on its way to becoming renewable. New techniques are being developed to recycle old nuclear waste, which will make fuel last hundreds of times longer and make it much less radioactive. With this upcoming technology, the entire world could be powered for hundreds of years with only the uranium we have right now. Nuclear power is safe, and if I need to say it a million times, I will. It's an industry that has been continuously misunderstood, misrepresented, and riddled with misconceptions. And this needs to stop.
This veil of miscommunication needs to be lifted, and people need to see nuclear power for what it really is. It's safe, it's cheap, it's green, it doesn't give you cancer, and it's definitely not going to end in a nuclear explosion. Thank you.